Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView and Health. And today I'm going to show you how to show off your CPU usage on your computer by something that actually comes with Windows by default, at least Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and 8.1. Most likely it will come with future versions of Windows. Now, one thing I want to mention is the uh, the end goal for this tutorial is to have it where you can have your CPU come up and come up each and every time when you restart your computer by itself. There's uh, several things that might look a little bit different because I'm running Windows 8.1 and if you're running anything from Windows 7 before it might look quite a bit different. But I'll try to be as detailed as possible so you can actually keep up and you know what to do. But if you still run into any problems or any questions at all then feel free to leave a question down below on the comments and I'll try to get back to you. So this is using Task Manager. Now there's two ways to open up Task Manager and the first way which I don't advise you to do right now is the Control Alt Delete basically holding down Control Alt Delete and you can select Task Manager from the options and go from there. Now the second and the easier way and less known way to do it is by just go simply down to this task bar right click and select task manager might say start task manager launch or whatever it may be but the end result is the same now if you're running windows 8 then select the more detail if it's not already open and no matter what version of windows you're running you need to go down to performance this shows the cpu and some of the other stuff Depending on your version, it's going to depend on what exactly it shows. Older version shows each actual card, but the newer version, they got rid of some of that, and I'm not going to get into all of that, because we're really focusing down on this little icon. I don't really remember if anything before Windows 8 shows everything when you hover over it, as far as memory, disk usage, network, and obviously CPU. But for Windows 8, Windows 8.1, it does show this, and I have to assume the best. So, as far as things goes, how do you get this icon to come up if it doesn't show up right now? And also, how do you get this icon to come up each and every time you restart your computer without having all of this come up? So, it's pretty simple. If the icon doesn't come up down here when you have this up, and then simply go to the hidden, and if it's not there, then go to the customize and look for the task manager and make sure it says show icon and notification so from there what you need to do is you need to minimize this make sure it stays open which it should if it doesn't then I really can't help you out if it if it does then we can move on to the next step which is go into options on any version of task manager and then go down to hide when minimize. Now, with older versions of Task Manager, I found this to be more of 100%. When we restart a computer, this won't even show up. Basically, what that hide when minimize means is if you notice the icon stayed open before, now it goes away, but this stays. And what I found with Windows 8, Windows 8.1, it's not 100% that the icons can go away when you restart your computer. I don't really like that. There's not much I can do, but that's that's Microsoft. So, how do you get it for uh, whenever you restart your computer? How do you get it where this comes up by itself? It's uh, pretty simple. Basically, you need to go down to the Start menu, search for Windows explore and um, if it doesn't come up then or or um, your depending on what type of computer you have you go to my computer this PC or this little icon down here no matter what it ends you in the same location what you need to do on the left side is go and use the arrows so it's a little bit quicker depending on the uh, the age of your computer Let's go down to C Drive, Windows, and scroll down to System32, and then click on System32. So basically the address will be C Drive, 
Windows System 32. Now you need to search for Task Manager or Task MGR and you need to go for the EXE file. This basically opens up Task Manager and we don't really care about opening it up right now, especially if you already have it open up. What we care about is getting it to open up when the computer restarts or when you lock off and lock back on. What you need to do is right click it, go down to create shortcut, and this may come up the the error. If it does, select yes. If it doesn't, then fine. Just um, if, if it doesn't, what you need to do is just select the actual icon in it and select cut. If it if it um, does that error does come up and find the actual thing, right click it and select cut. Just like before. Now what you need to do is go down to your start menu, go to all programs, and go to start and right click the startup, click open, and paste this in. Basically anything in this file should, and I'm not going to guarantee this, but it should open up when the actual operating system restarts. Um, it's, it's one of the default things. I found it's not 100% for all programs, but for the most part it does tend to work about 90% of the time. So from here what you need to do is right click the task manager shortcut. You can rename it if you want, but go down to properties and then right here where it says run to the right of it select minimize. What that means is when this opens up, it will be minimized. And let's give you an example right here. And you can see that it didn't come up, but it's minimized. And this is what I'm talking about is on Windows 8, Windows 8.1, sometimes the icon still shows up. You can open it up real quick and minimize it. But this will always show up, or at least it should, as you can see here. Here, that, that little icon shows up which is what we're going after so anyways this video basically showed you how to show off your CPU usage and if you hover over it your memory disk and network usage on a Windows XP Vista 7 8 and 8.1 computer again if you do run into any problems then as a quick disclaimer it's not on my head since I physically didn't touch the computer, but feel free to ask questions down below and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, if you do have any other tips or tricks, then feel free to leave that down below in the comment section and I'll try to look at that as quickly as possible. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder owner of TechViews Help. Please like, please subscribe, and please share. And please visit techviewsnelp.com and hope you have a great day.